Rob, you do the intro this week. Yeah, I did it last Just week. Just starting right now? Yeah. Okay, welcome everyone to episode 69, I think. Yeah, almost. Yep, sure. Okay. 35, um, 35. I'm I'm cosplaying as Bane today just for fun. Um, <laughs> no, on a real note, Mom, I know you're watching this the first <laughs> two minutes. So look, I'm sitting away from them. I'm wearing a mask. So I just went for it. Eh? Everything's, everything's good here. Okay. So Rob is back. All right. Yeah, Rob's back. And now that my mom their... stopped watching, uh, drugs, women, Oh, God. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's a I can't wait next play. week. Oh, I, I can't no. come, guys. My mom. My, my mom said I'm being too rude or something. <laughs> but for real, like every time I speak, there's like the smallest little fog in the bottom of my you glasses. You wear them on top really of it, like me. Shane said, yeah, and that one that. commenter. All right, slide it down your nose slightly. All right, you guys gotta read some comments off. One of my phone. favorite comments. Don't uh, steal mine. I ate ant heads, said Drew. Does Drew still wear Velcro shoes? Only on weekends. Now, did, you, did you get that part last week? Uh, you didn't watch the podcast. Uh, we'll have to ask him the same question. Regardless, yeah. this kid ate ant heads. You ate ant heads? We'll, like, we'll, we'll circle like a, back to it. We'll not like yeah. a daily occurrence. Just yeah, like, it seemed pretty daily. Why don't you eat the whole ant at that times. point? <laughs> That's, <laughs> was, no, he That's went the best part. More anyway. protein in that shit. Gotta say, anyway. Um, my favorite was Chris. Plans on getting a summer home. Me. Flexing with my home that is all season. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All season homes. Wow. For real though, That's I, like, funny. I didn't see that. One. I had the worst FOMO all weekend because <laughs> everyone. It seems like everyone I know has a cottage and a and a fucking sea do all of yeah. a sudden. So yeah, it's I like, know, right? stay off Instagram. Literally, it was a rough weekend for that regard. But mm-hmm. all right, my uh, comment was from last week's podcast, like the week before. Is that, last. Is that allowed? Oh, yeah, unprecedented. Fuck yeah, it. man, this is a tough. So wars. first, he said they should. Uh, the Bag Boys channel should have podcast, board games, and stupid challenges. Not wrong. But then we have, we have some stuff maybe coming. To be honest, and then he's like, TBH, he's, he was talking. I don't know. What, did we prompt them to like tell us what we'd be in school? A long time ago, yeah. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, Chris is the guy in the park that just likes flexing his cool bike. <laughs> Completely <laughs> fair. <laughs> Drew is the kid that can't stop going down the slide and complains when there's a line. <laughs> That's fair also. Shane is definitely the kid that can't <laughs> stop swinging on the swings. Fair. What am I? And um, Rob is picking fights in the weird corner of the park. <laughs> I'm picking like, fights. Yo, this kid nailed it. I would say Rob's probably more like the guy who does like the monkey bars over and over again yeah. trying to impress the girls. <laughs> Rick White nailed it. I did, I did get into a few like scuffles, we'll call them, when I was a Rob, kid. Rob's like under the playground where they have like the pretend bar area. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. The I'm completely useless toys yeah. just trying to like fight people that aren't paying. Uh, really, also, one comment that I liked that was just a clarification is that garage pies are pies that you buy at a gas station. Like just, pies in like a pie? Or pies like, in like, like, pie, like strawberry but, rhubarb? Yeah, but you just awesome. buy them at a gas station. Is that an station. American thing? Probably. I can't do that here. Garage pies? <laughs> <laughs> you can sounds like a fucking like porn title or something you know what i mean i should get into the porn business Shane in <laughs> garage, garage pies, pies. <laughs> Ew. Maybe so not. rob the story of last week is that i asked um what are like if we had any weird childhood stories i have and one drew told us about how he ate ant heads as a kid a couple times like he would pick up an ant rip off its head and then eat the head itself so do you have anything to top that or anything that competes with that? I never actually, yeah, when I was like, I still am. I hate insects t- to like any degree, like spiders. There was a spider literally hanging in here last like, week. Like, dude, I'm <laughs> looking around, around for him. At like... my old student house once, I, there was, I was gaming and then like I saw something moving in the corner of my eye. I was like, oh, it's probably just like whatever. It's a fucking millipede about this big, dude. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I took my, sh- my Astroway 4 TRXs off, put them on my desk. I'm very specific. Move my uh, just dude. I jumped away, Lydia. I just ran downstairs. I was like, I'm not going back to my room until someone kills this bug for me. Remember, are we, are we I sure? got I got my uh, my my. I don't know why it sounds sexist here. But I got my female roommate to go and kill the bug for me because I was just like, and she's like, "You're the guy. You should be doing this." And I'm like, "But that's a fucking millipede." I was like, <laughs> "No, you should have been like women's rights. This yeah, is this is equality right remember, here. This is groundbreaking." Do you remember like the different work events we went to? Yeah. And the one I, I don't want to say their name, but like they had like the living room with all, and then the back room was just where they put all their empties. Yeah, and then all disgusting. they had like moldy red cups everywhere. Whoa. And then uh, and that I, was their pride and joy. Yeah, they they're like, oh, it's fine because we're, like, we're like, do we have uh, any cups for beer pong? We pick them up every cup mold, uh, and then there were literally centipedes everywhere. Fuck that. And then they had an attic where they would. 
they had like just a mattress up there and everything else was just wood and like nails on the yeah. ground and they're like this is where we fight like this is <laughs> yeah. a fight club yeah like, they'd, they'd like go up there and fucking wrestle who the fuck was this was this like it was like oh. the, the guys like the meatheads that you would expect like, from Zeres Jay Jay oh fuck that guy man. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hopefully it fell on the odd nail if no but, but oh. that don't, that wall of beer cans was their pride yeah so okay so they had they all their empties it. in the back but then like around their tv they had like this bookcase that went all the way around the tv and they stacked beer cans all the way around it that's oh, pretty cool looks, they oh, rinse that's out a single one. but it looks cool but then you you enter the house and just the smell you're like yeah stale mm, beer like not worth me. not good i've been keeping like empties beside my like computer just for like just for fun to see how many i can get we noticed, yeah. And, uh, now I know why there's so many bugs. <laughs> well, there's no bugs yet, but it <laughs> yeah. just, I'm just, I'll be gaming and I'm like, man, it's, it's, it smells like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> no, not Brussels sprouts. I, I, I eat those when I find them. But like, it just starts to, it smells like the inside of a recycling bin, like near my desk now. So I might need to do something. And about Rob's that. mom, if you're watching, we side with you in wanting all of those empties thrown yeah, out. Every day she's like, why why are there so many you get rid of them blah 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 i'm just like mom it's just for fun like it's whatever she's Jeez. like all his 14 year old stream viewers love the love oh, the beer dude. cans the funniest thing is people like because there's a stella can or bottle there and like i've had three different people come in and be like man you drink stella do you also like beat your wife and shit i'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like is that a thing like that doesn't even make sense because stella's expensive yeah no. dude, it's niall's favorite beer so is it yes yeah, yeah. i think so should, Brittany blink twice i think we should give Brittany a heads up worst case scenario <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But um, <laughs> sorry about that. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, I don't know. There's two. Th- they every college room smells the same, or like res, like empty like beer cans and just like or like bo and just bo and like just overflowing garbages. Well, you two like lived in student housing with a bunch of guys. Do you have any weird stories from that or like uh, awful stories? There was one time when I was so lazy to empty the garbage, I literally put on my shoes and stepped in it just to push all the garbage down so I didn't have to take the bag out. I feel like that's, that's so normal. Gross. Mm. That's like innovation. I literally like two foot stepped and like pulled the sides up around me. Like <laughs> okay. I, was like, I was putting on a, like a fucking sleeping bag or something. We threw a sorority party. That was kind of fun. They, How's that go? They came to us. They're like, we want to have a kegger. We like your house. We'll give you free beer. And you guys you said, just have fuck to yeah. host it. And we're like, all right. Why not? Sure. I would do that shit. And then... They tried to, like, not have us get beer. We'd be like, yo, like, this is our house. You said we'd have free beer. And they're like, nope. And we're like, what rats, yeah. <laughs> like, you either get out or give us free beer. I mean, you should have called the cops on and been like, hey, these random guys yeah. showed up at our house trying to have a party. No, nah, they ended up coming. We got a, we got a noise complaint and a ticket. Oh, fuck nice. that. The only frat slash sorority I knew of at our school was the Jewish one that had the, like, <laughs> the 15-foot yeah. menorah outside the front of the <laughs> truck. Those like, parties probably got pretty hectic. Man, yeah, you ever, had to wear a jock to get in and out. Or else you're going to cut your... Dude, took your dick off. That menorah, menorah was so cool though, because everyone would always try and steal it when they're drunk. But it was like steal and bolt it into the ground. Yeah, there's like, no getting they, it. They planned ahead. Like you could not move that thing. Well, dude, impressive. any sort of giant fixture like that, it's like the number one attraction when people are drunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I, for sure. I, I spent my fair time uh, leaning on it, but you know what? Uh, where we. We would go bowling on occasion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I told you yeah. about those giant concrete balls. That were yeah. Like, that, oh, you man. Fuck <laughs> Wait, what? I like how we've, I've tried to, we tried so many different ways to try and knock one off its fucking like thing. Because we wanted just to roll around a giant concrete ball, right? He was like telling me a story about like when he worked and he's like trying to fucking push one of them over and his boss rolls up. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys yeah, doing? There was two of us. I was like, like punting it. This other guy was like, we tied like a rope around the back of it and we're trying to pull it with the golf cart. And he's just my boss, not my boss boss, but like my foreman at the time was just like, He's like, what do, you, what do you guys think we pay you for here? Like, not, <laughs> not this kind of shit. But dude, we're know. just making sure no one can move it. Don't Literally, worry. I was just, we're just making sure it's on there, on there correctly, boss. No Most places would have fired you on the spot. So this funny. place, like, people were doing so much fuck shit. It was like no big deal at all. People were like dealing drugs. People were like coming to work drunk, and under the influence. <laughs> um, there was fights like every day. That's awesome. Wow. It was a pretty cool place to work. Not gonna lie, but like, <laughs> Rob's favorite. Sketchy. Better than my job now, at least. I'll put it that way. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Where, should, right, I, where should I start from today, man? Fucking oh, uh, Can I give a recap of the group chat? Sure. And sure. then you can try to, like, save yeah, yourself. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, okay, you guys, okay. You, you have a first crack, and then I'll try and s- salvage whatever I can. So I think <laughs> the second crack what was it during my stream or something, or, like, in the evening? Who knows? Where you started messaging, and you're just like, fuck, dude, like, I my boss, this. my boss offered me a raise. And like they're letting yeah. me work from home until the end of the year. He's like, 
they're not making it hard for or they're not making it easy for me to quit <laughs> like you're complaining about getting more money and working from home and you're like yeah dude the last podcast you were on it didn't age well you were literally like, no. I'm going to go in there I'm, or I'm going to call him. I'm going to ask for a race. They're giving you a race. <laughs> Without even having to ask well, it was, for it. It has been confirmed yet. Maybe, maybe yeah. you watch the podcast. Maybe listen to the pod. Well, because like... The he convers- him tomorrow, I'll give you a bigger race. The conversation <laughs> went like, I was. I went to my boss and I was like, hey, I'm well, my boss, my like immediate manager. Um, I don't know if I'm break- breaching some sort of like contract I'm talking about. Unless you sign an NDA. Yeah, you probably. Who cares? <laughs> who, who cares? Like, what, what are you going to do? Fire me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kidding. Um but uh <laughs> essentially he was like I was I went to him I'm like hey like I'm just going to be honest like I'm so, like some days I'm completely swamped don't don't say anything I like, literally like calls like you know how like outlook has like your daily mm-hmm. like, chopped up it's like a brick yeah. of just like every single half hour has something every hour has only. something so, no this like today was fucked man today was crazy right. Like every single meeting went over. I was late to every meeting. I'm getting at meetings and people are giving me shit. Like, oh, I've only, oh yeah, I've been here for like five minutes, five, 10 minutes. No big deal or anything. I'm like, well, like, sorry, dude. I had shit to do. Like, fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're honestly being like, yeah, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. Rob's just Rob, sitting Rob, in what his. What the fuck, whoa. man? Why, why are you being a dick? <laughs> Rob's just sitting in his fucking kitchen eating a tuna sandwich in between. <laughs> Literally. Like, 10 minutes um, late for that. But then I was like, yeah, like, <laughs> my, like, there's been a huge influx of clients lately. Like, I'm, like, I'm being, like, getting slammed almost every day. I'm just wondering, like, is there going to be any sort of like, help from the rest of the department type thing? And he's like, oh, yeah, like, don't worry. Like, we've seen how hard you've been working. Um, like, we understand, like, how much is, like, how, like, how much more responsibility you've had to take on in the last month, blah, blah, blah. And, like, yeah, Nick, like, you'd be financially like, compensated for it. Like, you know, we'd probably bump you up to the next tier. And I was like, oh, when? He's like, oh, probably pretty soon. And then I was like, and then he's, and then he's also like, um, by the way, like, would you like be interested in working from home or going back to the office? And I was like, well, ideally I'd like to work from home because like the office is, it's like zero traffic, 20 minutes away, but it's probably never going to be zero traffic. But you can just work from home. Yeah. And then, so I kind of just kind of took that route with it. And then he's like, oh yeah. Cause like we're extending work from home until at least Jake January, 2021. That's when he's like, oh, it's too bad. We were going to give you like a, a, a raise only if you were in the office. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then. So it was kind of, it was just kind of like a fuck moment. Cause it was like, I had this, I had been building myself me- up mentally to kind of st- steer the conversation towards me leaving. And then he just completely. I get what this the- is. You prepared and you were ready for a fight. But when he just bent over and gave you everything, you're like, Oh, well, I didn't, I, I, I want to like yell at someone I, or fight geez. someone. Like I'm, I'm not a huge fan of confrontation. So it wasn't much like, I wasn't looking forward to a fight of any kind. It was just me like wanting to like put the idea in his head that I was slowly kind of <laughs> lean to I'll be out the door but instead it's like hey man we'll just give you this 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 and like fucking Rob was like hoping for an assistant and he's like yeah we'll just give you more money and he's like uh, mm-hmm. well, right. I, I like realistically Fuck. I want a hot assistant that I can <laughs> like I would rather them allocate more people towards what I'm trying to what I have to do versus getting a rate oh no that's bullshit but like I'd rather get like a, <laughs> I'd rather get like you'd rather I'd, get the money and more help yeah. yeah just cause like some days it is pretty fucked like today it's like I'm on I have like seven calls and then in between all these or on top of these calls i'm getting like 10 emails every hour being like hey can you do this hey can you do this so i, I finished my work at like i don't know 5 15 and then i have to spend like another like i didn't I, i'm gonna do some of it tomorrow but if i was to sit there and do everything i had to do like today i'd be working until fucking like nine mm-hmm. so it's just like i don't know and then that's and then it just creates this like constant backlog of shit i gotta do you know what i mean it's like tomorrow i gotta spend my first hour like catching up on today and then it's just gonna keep happening over and over again, and just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it's gonna get to a point where clients like, oh, like why isn't this and this being done? I'm like, because it's fucking just me, lady. Like, I can't like. Whoa, whoa! Why they gotta be a lady? Well, it's not the client's yeah. fault. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you know what? Fine. But still, <laughs> it's just like Rob's like, I'm quitting tomorrow. <laughs> no, I don't care what you guys say. No, man, you gotta stay so you can move out. Well, no. Yeah, you'll be fine. So my my reevaluated plan is just like I'm gonna take it month by month. Like I'm gonna c- commit. Like per on a per month basis, so I don't get myself too squirrely in the head. But like, if I'm still just like fucking suffering by like end of the year, I'm just gonna just please st- don't quit and start stop streaming. being a fucking idiot. No, no, just no. just start putting applications out. There. My parents said like even if it's just part. Like I told them I was like I'd love to kind of just give it a month and try and make like some sort of not just streaming, make content right like nutrition, gaming, streaming, blah blah blah. 
because I can't do that while I'm at this job. It's just there's just no not enough time in a day. Mm -hmm. But they were like, okay, that's fine. Just just get something part time at least. That way you have an income of shit, and that way if you fucking crash and burn or if something happens, you still have a job to work with, right? Because I've been saving up for a decent amount, and this job does pay pretty decent. So like I'm pretty. I, at the moment, if I was to like just drop everything, I'd probably be able to survive for like a few months, as, <laughs> assuming I've moved out at this point. But like my parents have said, like you're not. That's not normally a good plan. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I've just, I've just, I've just calculated. I to. Case. <laughs> Tell Rob. Uh, I've, I've, I've prepared for the apocalypse financially. We'll put it that That's way. Not... That whole Here's conversation just hurt me. If you want to do that, you got to start for that couple months by setting aside the difference you'd be making between full time and yeah. part time and saving it and seeing if you can live off the rest and if you can't you work like well, a normal person i could live off it and if you can you saved congrats i just the thing is quality of life if i was to stay here at long term my my my, my mental is just going to degrade you know what i mean i spent half the day hating my fucking You're young. life it'll repair I don't, what i don't understand is like again you break your day into 24 hours yeah you spend how long do you sleep a night like five hours okay so five hours of sleep so yeah. you have 19 hours left if, you, sp if you spent nine hours a day, which he claims to do working, yeah. you then what? Have 10 hours left. Yeah. What Still the fuck out. do you do with the 10 hours? So, I f so here's my daily schedule. I'll run it so down for you guys. Okay, okay. So it's going to work out. Wake up at 8 ish, work till about 5, 5 30. Get a workout in from like 5 30 till 7. Stream from like 7 till 10. And then I'm just, at that point, I'm, I have zero creative energy left. I'm just zapped of all my of all my juice, you could say. All I want to do is eat a snack and go to bed around like 12 or 1. So like, it's going to take me... That was seven gonna, hours of sleep. Well, yeah. no, that's not always just five. <laughs> I'm giving you my duty. I was going to say, Jeez. if you're actually only getting five hours of sleep a night, I know why your brain is yeah. fucked. Well, I get like... I get it six. all depends on like... We your brain what is fucked. What are you fucked. saying? We literally no, got a snap man, from you the other day at like 4.30, didn't we? Then I oh no your Instagram yeah you're like oh it's like 4:30 a.m. and yeah, he that sends was the a fucking Instagram that was this weekend just because I was always I forget what I was even doing why did you staying up that late I was watching uh, when even something. I do that I was watching something I forget often but anyways <laughs> and I could, yeah I've, the theoretically the time is there but like 10 p.m. till 12 a.m. on a weeknight after I've already like, done a lot of shit in the day it's like I just don't have that like it motivation. all comes down to how bad do you want it I know that's and that's what I'm saying and it also yeah. comes back. Like down to, do you need to like basically completely ruin your financial situation just to have that little bit more freedom? No, but Maybe. so then you stay at the job. It <laughs> depends. Like I think the job will be more important if you actually move out. Right now, it's not like you need. Well, the yeah, money. and like the thing is, I want to go back to where I worked before with Niall, right? Because like that's an option. Like oh, work God. like twenty something hours you a week. You hated that job too. I liked it more than this one, and I plus I'd be able to get a little more out of it. Plus, because like, what do you mean I, get out of it? Because like, I wasn't motivated to get the because it was commission based for the most part. I wasn't the most motivated person in the world to. Big, I, I'm not a good salesperson jumping on people's throats with like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Being like, buy this, buy this now, quick before the deal's Scamming done. Scamming grannies. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, it's just not my character. So like, I don't know. I was thinking like, kind of do that or maybe just work retail for a bit if it's opened up. The only thing I'll throw out there is that I have known you for a while and you've always talked about like what your goals are yeah, and like, you know, starting a business or like doing something on the higher end yeah, and like working at this job will get you the experience that you need in order to get to that position. Whereas like if you go to work retail, they're not going to see it as like as relevant Man. as your full-time sales retention job yeah. or whatever if you're the guy right now that they're feeding all of the bullshit calls to that's because they like want to prepare you for other things and if they don't mm. then you just like leave after well, a while just, but like, you like you can't leave yet just like i know i'm not, like I'm, I'm like realistically i no matter what happens i'm probably gonna stay here till january at least um just like at the end of the day, my parents, hurts. my parents have me locked in. There's no chance I'll be able to quit without something lined up. And today's job market's pretty fucked. Mm -hmm. Like I looked online today, at like where I could theoretically apply to, unless I'm trying to move to Toronto or something. There's not much around here that's You're not. hiring. Fuck that. Fuck move to Toronto. Um, that would like. Okay, Drew. That my would bad. that me moving to Toronto would Couldn't be like <laughs> the biggest financial undertaking I can imagine. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like I won't be able to give. 
like, so as long as I'm working at, here's my, my big picture thought process. As long as I'm working at this job I'm at now, I'll never be able to give anything else I try to do 100%. Okay. Now, here's the real question. Yeah. I'm going to sound like a dick when I say this. Yeah. That's do normal. you think if you gave your 100 to streaming that you could make it a full-time job? Um, I just don't know. I, I, it's hard to answer yes or no. I'm hiding. Like, it's, I know it's hard to crack, and there's like 5 billion Twitch streamers right now. Okay, well, so basically what took makes the first you, two sentences I was going to say. Yeah. What makes you different than every other person? My personality. Nope. Bi nope. and seps. Not true. Biceps. There's literally thousands of people like you. Nick Merckx is just like you. Are you guys trying to, to discourage me He just said you could be the next Nick Merckx. I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I just don't want you to get this no, like I would, I, starry eyed dream no, that no, you're going to make it big. Real, real, like realism, trust me. I had that phase when I first started thinking like, man, I'm going to fucking crush it. I'm going to be the next PewDiePie. <laughs> and then reality hit, like reality hit at some point and mm -hmm. I realized that. But at the same time, I'm not saying I'm going to quit, quit my job and all of a sudden have like 80k mm -hmm. subs on Twitch. Biggest. I just YouTuber. don't want you to quit your job thinking that like if you go full time into streaming, no, it's just going to be easy. It's not to guaranteed. Rob's point. He never knows if he doesn't try. That's and mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, the thing. That's true. Chase your dreams, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I need to. There's know. always gonna no. be. There's always gonna be <laughs> another yeah, Drew, job. Drew's right. I'm gonna quit my job tomorrow. <laughs> Chase your dreams. <laughs> there's <laughs> always gonna be people to yell at him at yeah. some job somewhere. Okay. So it may as well be Twitch chat. What I hope you do one day, if you do end up going for this, I did not quit school until I was earning more doing YouTube part time than I would have earned full time at whatever job I would have gotten. So I hope that if McDonald's probably is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I hope that if you it's do something. that, like no. if you want to go full time, you don't just drop your job when you're no, not no, making no, enough. No. For real. Like my plan for that it, again, 50% of your subs have to be non gifted. Well, yeah. Cause the, like getting a lot of gifted subs isn't sustainable. It's mm -hmm. just cause like they're not going to come back and resub. They're just for gifted. Unless you start an only fans and start an only fans. But like oh, the thing, the thought process behind not being able to give hundred percent into streaming is that like I would, like I said, I would have something part-time lined up uh, before I quit this job, even if I ever did quit it. And then the part-time job would pay the bills, you know, I'd, that'd be a living wage. Mm -hmm. And then I'd get, have that extra, however many hours in a week to actually try and stream and make like YouTube videos and do whatever the, well, how many hours would you say? Like I'm like, a part-time job is like what? 20, like I, my ideal part-time job yeah. would be 20 to 30 hours a week. Probably. So how much do you work now as a full-time job? Like so, theoretically I work 45. Okay. So like, let's say you're working like, like all I'm saying is like, I need like, or not need, I would want to have, like one extra day per week where nothing at okay. all is happening, where I can just stream for like six hours or I can sit, sit down and just drill out like some sort of YouTube video. Because the thing mm -hmm. is, I don't, like, I'm not good at doing like, let's say I want to make a YouTube video for this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at doing something like half hour Monday, two hours Tuesday. You don't like take, splitting it I up. I don't like splitting it up because one, it ruins my mental thought process on it. It kind of feels disconnected. And two, I just don't like, it just it stresses me out having unfinished things you, sitting what around. What are you trying to do? Make a video every, like a video a week? Yeah, well, like, what's what, like what's stopping you from what putting you, a, a, sh a shift in on a weekend? Putting eight hours in on no, a weekend? That's the thing. Like I've just, I'm There's just nothing. trying. I'm trying to find that kind of like, that final push to get myself to do. Oh. But lately, I've like I've had so much going on. Recently. I don't want to throw myself a sob story, but like, you know, I, well, yeah, I, won't, yeah. I, I won't. I won't get into the details <laughs> of what's going on. But like, I have had some family stuff going on, some friend issues, and all that. So it's been kind of hard to kind of keep myself centered on one thing recently. I've been pretty broken up since Drew moved out too. Yeah. Wait, friend issues. <laughs> Uh, one of us <laughs> no save <laughs> um, this the fr I got a friend group I was really close with just had like a really weird random falling out like two weeks ago oh nice. this is the e-girl no 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 oh, oh. that would have been awesome it's just, like one friend, that's shitty like one friend Did group just have like an intervention for Rob's e-girls <laughs> <laughs> no it was like the, it was really weird actually I'll go on a brief tangent about it hoping that they don't watch or listen to this like yeah I was really good friends with, I can tell you, you guys are going to know, you would know who two of the two of them are by name after. Yes, yeah, just sure. Um, just general. This group of friends I was with, we were at a party or they were at a party about maybe a month ago. And like some things were said, some people, some like really serious, deep things were said about one from one person to another. And that kind of created like a divide between like, you know, classic, the playground, like I'm on this person's side. And if you're still talking to that person, I don't want to be friends oh. with you. Mm. Are and they then male or female? All dudes. 
Yeah, I thought you, I thought you were happens. at first I thought you meant like it was a boy and a girl like confessing feelings or no, something. No, no, no. Um, Jeez. But then, uh, and, but I, I don't like doing. I don't like having two separate friend groups. Then I tried to say, hey, like, why don't we just, you know, work it out? Not do this. And <laughs> fuck you, bro. You don't know. Like, you, you don't. You don't understand what that kind of stuff does to someone. Blah blah blah. Like, you don't understand how it made me feel. I'm just like, hey, you know what? Fuck this stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother trying to be a pacifist here. You guys can do Duke your own it out. thing. Did but. someone like hook up with someone's ex girlfriend? No, not even that. It's just like they said rude things. To like, each other. <laughs> like they said things that like you're a poo poo head. That like rattled like no, it would it would rattle me to the core if someone said no, what it. What the fuck? Well, like again, I won't get into the. I'm gonna a, need the names later so I can a, take notes. Yeah. It was a straight up character attack I'm need on one an after person. Hours gotcha. version, but like. Yeah. See, so basically, the key, the what we're doing is, to you right now. The thing is, yeah, is but like, we, <laughs> we we all attack each other's character so much. That it's okay. Yeah, but like, if you guys were to sit here and look, I think I've said this before. If you were to, if you guys were to look me in the eyes and be like, "I think this about you," blah blah blah, and say something you're super nasty, I take it to heart. But like, Rob, I think you're mm-hmm. a beautiful soul. Thank you, Drew. But like, like, I, I feel don't like think normally you should... for us when we <laughs> attack each other in a sense, it's like in each other's best interest. Yeah, it's like like I'm not gonna like sit here and be like, "Don't worry, Rob, you're gonna make it big as a Twitch star." Like, I'm gonna no, be yeah, like, Rob, we need to talk. It'd be like, I I, w- I would say it's like humbling in a way you know what i mean if i ever get too high on something i bring it up to you what guys two did. and then okay. uh, that's why this guy's so grounded yeah. <laughs> he's, like he's running away from he's us an absolute bit. fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> I, ser- I can't i seriously struggle to think of anything you guys could say to me that would like genuinely like make me not want to talk to you again well i could figure something well out. like don't actually brainstorm that <laughs> but like you just have show muscles <laughs> I'm not here, guys. So <laughs> but for Take off the mask. Everyone, off my everyone in the comment section, make Rob hate you. <laughs> yeah, no. that'll be the that'll be the prompt. Say something that you think will actually not. That'd probably really piss me off. Say Rob would not show up. Say something you think will split one of us off the group. Yeah. That's perfect. No, not no. just Rob. One Let's of us. Not get into that territory. Aww. That could get really yeah, messy. Yeah, really fucked. I think, uh, we'll I think we can handle fine. it well, but we'll be fine. It's a joke. That'd be some fucking <laughs> it's like a joke, guys. Bachelor in I, Paradise. I shit. would just like mute Discord for a week. Yeah, probably. What, what did you Discord le- son ever do to you? <laughs> you just leave the Discord group that we have and then be like, oh, damn. And, yeah. And you oh, own it. it. Man, you know how long it took to get in there? Never. Don't care. You say whatever you want, and I'll even. Rob, do you have anything else you want to add before I go off on a tangent? Pump. That's about it. It's probably about so wait, me, though, To summarize so. the whole thing, you're not going to quit your job. Mm-hmm. No, not Good. until January. And I'm not going to, if I do ever decide to quit, I'm going to like literally have like a first shift lined up somewhere else. Gotcha. Next okay. And then, um, you're planning on moving out hopefully soonish. Hopefully or? within like my dream timeline is be moved, but we're August. What's something in the teens right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. So probably like October, mm, like the first stuff. Yeah. First week of October. You can honestly probably get a place in September well, if you're in a rush. The thing is I might, again, this place is tempting but it's just so expensive i might sublet till january and then hopefully by january my buddy that i'm waiting for will be down and then we can just go splits on somewhere be a little cheaper is he, will is he on no the, other answer is he on the dark side or the light side of the friend group he's actually involved but he's on like the skin color he's, the, side, he's in the, the kind of the same boat as me where he was like i don't like we were texting on the side being like neither of us really want to be a part of oh perfect you're yeah, good so. the good side yeah all right so what i want to talk about all right was an incident that mm-hmm. occurred on this premise on Saturday, with me. someone oh, this who is now is so, no longer a part of our so dumb home. <laughs> okay, so, no, no, no. I'm gonna try to give this to you as unbiased as possible, and then I, I, can I hear Juice side after? So, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, the yeah. best part about all this is that it was over a game of Settlers Catan, dude. It's Drew? always fucking Catan. Hey, man. To be completely honest, like before we even get in, I thought Drew. It was I thought you were gonna walk away. I honestly thought oh, Drew was God, about to no. go to bed. There was a point where you got up and threw your fucking hat, and I thought, I'm like, oh, shit. I was laughing the whole time. <laughs> I thought there was a point where Drew was about to leave oh, and not talk. Is, is that what you meant? Drew was you actually, said? T- like, I, 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 at no point no, it was, was I ever going to, like, no, I was at, one point, at one point, so I was a little hard. concerned. I was like, I think Drew might actually be really pissed. No, God, no. But, um, okay. I mean, like, I was angry, but, like, I wasn't going to. So, like, angry or pissed, right? I mean, I'm here. here. I didn't so even think real about pissed. In the game, I was in the lead. Yeah. Okay. And I had four resources available. I had ore, wheat, wood, and sheep. Okay. I had two tiles that gave me wheat with two different numbers. I was trying to do the quick math. I'm just like saying, I'm like, wait, fuck. One of those tiles. So I had, had, this is more for everyone else. Uh, Listen, I had two tiles that gave me. I was burped into my fucking mask. (laughs) (laughs) I'm telling your mom, clip this part. Oh my gosh, dude! That was—I'm never doing that again. <laughs> what the fuck? He gassed himself. All right, all right. I'm, I'm listening. So I had wheat on two different tiles with two different numbers. 
Okay, like a six and a nine. Yeah. Sixty nine. Sixty nine, nice. <laughs> and then I had or, but I only had one of it. Okay. On a different number. And I was in the lead. Or was really important to me. Mm-hmm. And then it was one of Drew, the few spots on the map that was good. Yes. And then Drew was also settled there. And they kept blocking my or and Drew was getting so pissed, being like, No, block his wheat. And I kept saying, What's the point? Because if they blocked one wheat, I still have the other. Uh-huh. Whereas if they block the or, I don't have any or at all. Yeah. And he was saying that was stupid because the wheat had like one higher chance of being rolled than the ore. <laughs> so like my thought process is like if say you needed some stuff, should I block off one completely or only half of another? One completely. I would yeah. say one completely. Yeah. That's my process. Whereas too. Drew said only half of one instead. Here's the thing. Okay. okay. The game beforehand, I was getting screwed over in the exact same way. And this is true. Okay. Like we always fuck them over. So this game, not, oh, no, and they no. always chirp me for choosing awful spots to start. I choose a really good spot to start. I'm set up mm-hmm. for success. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're not denying that. This guy that. has a wheat and an ore, a two or a city here and a settlement here on the wheat. I have <laughs> one. <laughs> I have <laughs> one on the ore. This is gonna be awful to follow any regard. Basically, they can follow. Basically, every tile has a certain chance of getting rolled. He's right? played yeah, the yeah. game. Yeah. He played with move? us. Oh my it's my fucking God. turn to Yeah, but you're, you're speaking to him like Justin Trudeau speaks to the nation. What if they don't know? Jeez. <laughs> what if they don't <laughs> they, know? They'll figure it out. Fuck. <laughs> Look it up. Anywho. My legs are so pale. The ore was a five. <laughs> and, and this whole game, nines and fucking elevens were getting rolled nonstop. Christian's this. wheat was a nine where he was collecting three. And his ore was a five. That's not true. The five. wheat was a six. Uh, anyways, story. Whatever. Story is Drew... <laughs> Got the whole hurt. goddamn game. This thing was on the five. I couldn't collect anything else. And when I did, it was like three things that I couldn't do anything with. But the thing is, Drew was settled and, next to the person who was in first. Yes. But you moved in there. No, I started there. That was my well, starting point. What, did, what, we, you weren't was, first when we started. Yes, I was. I was the first person to settle. That doesn't mean you're in first place. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Um, anywho... <laughs> So this whole time, this guy's just collecting wheat galore. If he collects two sixes, he can trade four or three of those in for whatever the hell he wants. He's getting his ore no matter what. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You may as well cripper the bulk of his cards that has more of a chance of getting rolled I'm actually following than the so far fucking too. ore Here's that the- I need. I literally just needed ore, and I couldn't get it. So then my perspective is that... And then that this guy just starts putting it on top to piss me off my, even more. My perspective <laughs> is the guy who won the game... Um, <laughs> Drew, so it was on the wheat. Every single time it got back to me, it was on the wheat, and I'd flip it back to the ore, and Drew would have a fit every single time. But it made more sense, because then I always stole from Christian, because he was the guy who was chasing. But again, it was the way I look at it is collateral damage. And there was yeah. like there was like five fives rolled the whole time. Like, it wasn't even getting rolled. They were literally just But the thing is, the sixes also weren't really getting yeah. rolled. It was it the was nines, nines and elevens. And you kept saying to put it on the six. But I didn't have any six. Like, literally... <laughs> So what was, so what, 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 was the, what was the climax of the uh, of the event? Was, Drew angry. Yeah, like, it, was, it honestly it, got like what no, caused that? Us chirping them. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were they were blocking no, the ore I needed. Also for yeah. fun and chirping me. And no, it wasn't was for fun. It actually no, 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 like no. It, so you, the thing I, is, we needed it. is that Drew thinks it was a personal attack on him. No, but I didn't. Was, but I, okay, what's no your perspective? Then? You just think it's a poor game move. No, I think he's BMing. There is are other ways to cripple Christian. That doesn't fuck over the dude who has three points. Here's the thing. You're collateral. <laughs> this is the most effective way to cripple Christian. BM. It slowed him completely down. It did. I you was You could have put it on this like nine or 11. The thing is, we were also rolling sevens, like tons of sevens in this game. And I was losing my wheat left, right, and We center. were moving it just back and forth. But when it would back get and moved forth. back, the fives wouldn't get rolled. And when it got moved on to the, the fives, fives it would get rolled. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Drew was pissed because he settled next to the person who ended up being in first. No, it was just really unlucky. And I yeah, was really but angry but that you weren't helping my luck. Yeah. But you you can't you can't be mad at everyone else for punishing me in first when you're next to me like that's just it, it sucks to be you it got to the point in the game but the, like there's other ways to cripple you rather than that one tile the, like it got that to one the point, tile isn't bankrolling your whole fucking point system it got to the point mid game where like amanda me and annie had all f- and brie i think brie was doing really well yeah. had all caught up and passed christian and drew drew had like three points and they were the still trying to fuck over and we christian. still literally were like, no fucking yeah reason. yeah we gotta go for christian we gotta go for christian just blocking <laughs> well, it got, until you guys got to and like that, seven oh. then i was just like oh okay guys 
<laughs> Amanda's literally about to win. We have to stop. Remember, yeah, remember, okay. like yeah. three episodes, one of four that we were talking about Catan and how they just like put stuff on tiles, even though it's not the best for the game. <laughs> Exhibit A, B, fucking C, D, so, E, F. So the thing is, it was G-I-H. it was the best for the game for maybe like three or four full cycles, which Drew sat there and got pissed, Probably and then even more than that. for maybe three to four cycles, it was maybe not the best, but it was still a good spot. Yeah. But then the, you just keep the blinders the, on. The issue is, is you got to think too, like full, like supply, like the supply of like the card in the the game. Like the only good spot for ore was that tile. Or the other one. But only one person was on it. Yeah. So it's just like, do you cripple two people? No, you just unfortunate collateral, I and the person who wasn't was first, like or do you, or, every yeah. fucking or do you cripple the person cards. who's like in third? All you need to know, you just missed Drew, like, fucking lose it. Like, and Bree and Annie were not They were pissed. It. <laughs> they, were, they pissed. Don't touch that. About what? Unlucky. They need competitive just, bones. Just him being, he was so loud. Annie's getting a migraine, and then... Annie was already hung over, so she was not happy with it. Bree's and Bree like was yelling. not. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and he pointed to she the She shut down for, like, the second half of the game. She didn't say a word. Yeah. She was probably just stewing at Drew And I was just time. sitting there fucking laughing my <laughs> ass off. It was great. <laughs> There's nothing better than, like... Like, honestly, it's the most dick thing to do. When, you, when your buddies are really pissed off, you start fucking with them. It's one of the oh, most fun man. things to do. And the worst is, like, Christian is probably the worst for that. Like, Drew slowly I, getting pissed off, and Christian just it. feeds the fucking fire. Yeah. I do that to Rob all the time. Yeah, but, he's do- but Drew just fed right in, and then oh, they're yeah. just, like, yelling at each other from across <laughs> the table, like, screaming at each other, and you it was were, great. And then at one point, I'm just, like, together. I'm standing up, because my I've been sitting all day. My legs were killing me. I stand up, and he's like, sit the fuck down. <laughs> like, so like, she I, swore, yeah, it was she great. She was just like, why are you standing up? Like, sit down. I was like, my legs hurt. Yeah. <laughs> there, was so much, there was so much at stake. But when they're yelling at you, Drew just turned turns mid like scream match and just slams his hat on the ground and I was like oh this oh is the God. best board games man yeah. but like, like track I, I honestly didn't even think of it the next day like no 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 because we were all it was literally know, just he, funny. he literally just didn't even talk to me the next day. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, just, he moved out. Dude, he his keys over. He's like, "Fuck this." Exactly. No, I think the thing that for the fucking shitter for two months. I think the thing that Bree doesn't get sometimes, like that anger, is just contained in that one specific Correct. game. No, I, well, I agree. It's just like competitive. Energy. Like you don't hate Christian. Amanda and me have talked about he's acting. <laughs> Amanda and me have talked about that all the time. She's like, sometimes I hate playing games with you guys. And then I thought of those two games, like that first game. Amanda was at like four points. And she pulled like a monopoly or something, and then nobody traded with her the whole game, like the whole fucking game. And she's like, "We're driving home." She's like, "It was so annoying. Sometimes you guys just never." Tra-. I'm like, "All, you, all you had is sheep, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> oh, but like that's you also said- the thing with any board game. Though, it's just like once a person's in first, you're like, "Fuck not, you." But yeah. it was it was like, like four points. It was unreasonable. I'm not gonna. Have I, re- the first I remember first. the climax yeah. of my anger now that you mentioned it. Okay, okay. He blacked out. I <laughs> finally had stuff to do stuff with. Yeah, and it was like two brick, and Christian was trying to trade for them or whatever, and I'm like, yes, I have two brick. Like this is it. <laughs> this guy pulls a brick monopoly. <laughs> Nobody else has brick except for my two that I need. <laughs> and Bree, and Bree like, like, had a bunch. More. Yeah. Oh man, it I helped. was seething. That's the competitive energy, man. That's what I, that's what my football coach used to call it. But the funny <laughs> thing is, is like that brick move, like shut Christian down for a long time because mm-hmm. I think I like I I knighted you three times after that. Bree knighted you once. Annie knighted you once. Like, and then you were no one would take the the brick. Fuck off. It was great. He thinks oh, it's the assassin. Knight. Oh. Anyway, but well, uh, and no one would take the brick. <laughs> He's like, I have a bunch of brick to train. I'm like, you stole that from us. No. It my me. my favorite. So quickly is uh whatever man <laughs> my favorite difference between these two is like when you fuck with drew he gets loud and he gets yeah. real loud real fast when you fuck don't with think rob I'm being heard. he shuts down yeah like when i fucked with him on that cafe map like i've never seen rob just it's like just completely shut down like a is, i used to be like drew but like i've had so many times where i've just completely lost my fucking shit and say a lot of stuff that ends up biting me in the ass so i've just been like i've forced myself oh, just, to bite you just roll with that side like <laughs> You, yeah. You'd be a hypocrite. You're like, fuck, man. I was a hypocrite. My yeah. bad. <laughs> it was so funny, man. I did, I'm just too stubborn to own up to shit I say after the fact. So it's like, oh. I've been trying to get better with that. Yeah. Just I like, normally never admit when I'm wrong, but it's literally so easy. It. I'm great. You just, you just own up to it. <laughs> I'm, Someone tricks you. I'm wrong so much that <laughs> it doesn't <Yeah>. even matter. <laughs> you get very used to being wrong. Exactly. That's funny though. Or perceived. I, I kind of wish I was there just to feel like the tension in the But air. like just no. like just like in summary, just like two dudes just screaming at each other. <laughs> then Annie's just like out of the blue, sit the fuck 
down. <laughs> <laughs> like, when Eddie started yelling, like, that was also that was after <laughs> the yelling was done for the most part. Yeah, I, like everything's kind of calmed down. I'm just standing there, and she just screams at me. Like, what the what the that's fuck? like when that like your your teacher you have in yeah. elementary school, who's like usually nice, just flips her gourd. On yeah, the, like, the teacher was Bree the whole time. Just like she took a bunch of it, and then she's like. Drew, <laughs> like screaming at Drew. Man, I need to take oh. Brio to dinner because she got up the next day and packed up like my whole room, cleaned the bathroom. Yeah, damn. Well, I don't know. It's a game. I don't know. I think the same thing. It's it was fun. I thought it was great again because I you won were the, the third end. party. Yeah, I was third party, and I ended up pulling it off. So, <laughs> Chris or Shane just eggs both sides on while like silently yeah. winning at the same time. Yeah, P- perfect. It's like a chance for Palpatine in Episode Three, man. <laughs> But yeah, no, it was a great game. Probably one of my like favorite games, The Settlers. Not I, gonna lie. I, I want to do the Settlers video so we can like. Oh, oh, oh. Have it get, on the channel. Like, second guesses. <laughs> all the all the like all the games are like good, but like that was one of the ones that stands out. Where I'm like, this was it was fucking amazing. Yeah, like we've had a lot of that good other board games as well, but that one was. But by Settlers, far like, the best. if you think of the last like even five six games. Like, it's because all been so good. It's because yeah. we started recording the scores, and we like now we have a stat sheet to yeah. see who like wins the most. So ever since that, we started doing that. Everything's oh, been getting yeah. way yeah. more heated. It brought my average below six. That was also why I was pissed. He was so. <laughs> and we were also roasting him. It's like, it's like a kill death ratio. <laughs> the, ro- yeah. I, the thing that gets me is they like roast me for shit that I can't control, and then I'm just like I, mean, I can't control. Some of it. A few some of, of them it. have been pretty bad. Like what when he settled, he settled on like the two worst spots, got boxed in. He's like, you yeah. guys are well, playing. That was, that that was, was so early, long ago. early in his career. Early in his career. That was like the match before we started had, recording. Nah. Well, or that's two fine. Yeah, that's every like every away. match that's been recorded, I've gotten great spots and fucked <laughs> over. To be honest, like I, I put like three settlements in two cities on three 11s and won the game on those 11s. It was like 11, 11. They're like, oh, well, this five or is uh, getting a lot of st- <laughs> getting a lot of action. So we need to shut that down. I was pulling, 11, 11, I was pulling 11. like six or seven cards per 11. That's I would practice. also like to so. point out the hypocrisy in Drew and that he was saying that we should shut down the six because statistically it's more likely to be rolled. But now he's like, we should shut down the 11. Hey, no, exactly. no, 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 no. <laughs> I was saying out of your tiles, they should shut down the six because the game before... Even though the nines no, were no, no, no. getting rolled. Because the game before, when I was getting screwed over, you're like, no, they need to put it on this tile because it's more likely to get rolled, which was fucking me over. But then all of a sudden, when it was like helping you, you're like, no, the five is like a way better tile to put Again, it on. I'm like, no, it's more likely to be the six. The and thing he like, keeps no. forgetting to mention is like the nine that he really wanted to block was sheep. I'm not blocking fucking sheep. I don't care. Well, but like you're you have all not, the sheep you fucking want. Well, you're also shit. not going to block your you 11, but like other here. people were also blocking the yeah, five. There was a point, where, been blocking there was a point where I was starting to pull off a bit, and Christian's like, I want to block the 11 so bad. <laughs> I, li- I literally just can't. It moved on. And then like three 11s in a row. <laughs> but you, yeah, you can't. It just doesn't make sense. It's not how odds work. You can't also, just block Also, you can't be upset about getting good spots blocked when it affects other people. Exactly. Because like if you're settling on good spots you're and collateral. you're next to the winner, like that just sucks. That happened to Brie all the time. She's always said I was next to the good people. We block it. She doesn't complain. Because she's just more competitive. Poor Drew. Poor yeah. Drew. But I want to win. I would love to do board games. We need to set up a camera above here so we can record we should, the we table. Operation, Literally bro. next week. Let's do it. <laughs> I yeah. have operation. We just need to find a way to actually like fasten it. Through the roof? Yeah, mount it somehow. I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> drill, as drill stupid as it sounds, four. we could move the table back and we could tape like a pole, like duct tape it to the little A hey, it's frame. Nothing, it's, yeah. it's nothing I'm and paying for. just let it hang there. Nothing I'm paying for, so fuck it. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Works. You're the boss, my friend. Fair, yeah. No. I'll try to find an, yeah. like a, a mount online. There's got to be something you can just, like that thing over there, you can just find the beam. Like, There's got to be a beam right here. Oh, you probably. Fucking yeah. put it in oh, the yeah. Actually, those aren't even in beams, the roof panels. No, they're just in drywall. They're just in the drywall. Yeah. No, like the, the the black thing hanging on the roof. The actual thing where I thought the strip oh, of yeah, Oh, that's yeah. definitely in a stud. Yeah. yeah. But like that's gotta be a stud right there. Yeah. Yeah, probably. But yeah, just put just drill right in. And then again, you you have the, like, the same stud we had for the um, the build stream, sort of. The PC build stream. Like yeah. one from the thing one, and one from the front. Yeah. We'll have this camera right here. And then... Yeah, they can see all our red faces from that one and then where the robber is from that one. And then if we ever get into it, Dungeons and Dragons. I've actually Definitely dude, one podcast I listen to has been doing what? that. <laughs> Yo, my sister plays Dungeons and Dragons now and she made me as an archetype. I should send this I should send the PDF to you guys as a joke. <laughs> do, do, do you guys know like what it is? All an shit? archetype's like a type of person, right? Yeah. 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 She's she made like her and her friends, I guess, have some fucking D and D shit going on. And she's like, Yeah, I made you and like uh, I think it was like her other friend as a 
archetype. And I was reading it. It's actually pretty interesting. I think but it would be jokes. Like if we yeah. could actually I think do it'd it. Be interesting. I think Doggo said so he would. Fucking funny. If we ever wanted to do it, he would no. be our <laughs> our dungeon master. Yes. Yeah, he said he would be our dungeon master. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Also, <laughs> would did you say no? No, Shane did. No, Shane, no I didn't. I Shane, said yes. Shane said he, for a while he's been wanting to do Dungeons. Oh, and always. You literally this. said we should do Dungeons and Dragons. Shane's like, no. Think of just all the stupid shit we could do. Like, Run it back. I swear to be God. Like, <laughs> I didn't. But there would be like a main quest. And just, it'd be like doing like Skyrim or something. We'd just get way fucking off track. I feel bad for whoever's Dog running our game. would be like, uh, like yeah. no, you have to go back. No, I roll 12. <laughs> no, I roll 12 for you to be quiet for the next five minutes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We could just, just have like him on like an, yeah, an iPad here. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be good. he has like a wizard's hat on and shit. I don't cool. know. I think it would. I think it would be fun. It'd be. Yeah, I agree. He did say that he was getting tired of his Dungeons and Dragons thing because they do like six hours a week, consistently. That's way too like, aggressive. I don't want to do this. Mm-hmm. And you Twice guys, know, and you guys know my hourly schedule, right? Where am I going to pencil that in? 10 p.m. every day. Yeah, true. He can't move out if we if we do that. Yeah, exactly. When's he gonna When's he gonna eat tuna? When am I gonna eat? When am I gonna shower? I haven't showered yet today. I probably should have. Yeah, Honestly, we should, my, we should <laughs> let Rob just quit his job just so we can have more Rob time. True. Yeah, just, like, can, just yo, yo okay, all you pitch in like five bucks a week, that's my allowance. I'll survive off that. Uh, it's cutting it That's not even enough to pay for your whey that. powder. Five bucks every few days, maybe. He's going to switch from whey powder to literally just pure cocaine because it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll start eating ants off the ground. He comes Protein. in one day and he's my size out of the blue. <laughs> hey, guys. Where are we sitting today? <laughs> <laughs> on a completely unrelated note I don't know why this thought came into my head I'm really happy Shroud's back I don't know about you guys yeah because we were talking about uh, board really games on stream and he was streaming uh, something yesterday with his friends the yeah. board game there are a lot of was there it? are a few comments on his tweet about it where they're like wow I guess multimillionaires don't need to social distance anymore huh yeah he and was being roasted other people were just like le- like leave him the fuck alone you don't know his situation and all that stuff and, uh, dude yeah. like, his doesn't welcome- he just have a huge house like and aren't all of his friends streamers? Like, it's not like they actually... The, like, two people he was with, one was, like, a Twitch employee, and the other one was uh, a streamer. Like, the, I think the other dude was a smaller board game streamer that he was He's with. He's a Twitch employee. Oh. Okay. Again, the yeah. thing, the thing, like, at the end of the day, just do it. You know what the risks are. Yeah. yeah. If well, you're just, willing to do it, do it. Just do, manage it. Manage it in your own, like, just do what we're doing. Fuck I think, yeah. well, you know for I mean? us, it's a little more fine, because I think Annie was looking at the cases this morning. We've had, like, 20... There's there's, so thir- the there's past, 13, like, two weeks. There's 13 active as of yeah. today in the region, and seven got resolved in the past wait, week. Wait, and the region is like the not tri city. Yeah, how no, many? It's more than that. Really? I'm what what would our sure, total yeah. population be like? 400. What the region? No, oh, wait, no, with no. All th- oh, then that'd probably be like 600, wouldn't it? Yeah, like six, getting, seven? getting up on a mill. So six 700k well, with 13 active cases, like that's really good. Whereas in the U.S. specifically, I think where Shroud lives. They have like thousands. Of Not to be a creep, but where does he live? Yeah, does he live in Cali? Yeah, oh, okay. in but LA. Ag- again, like you do what, like again, do you just you take your precautions. Do, yeah. yeah, and even if they're, you're not like again, you do it at your own risk. I don't, yeah. I don't really care. Well, I think the issue is more that like it's not necessarily your own risk anymore because yeah, like if you get people. sick and then you infect other people, you're putting them at risk, and that they didn't ask for it. Mm-hmm. You just did it. But mm-hmm. they would have had to see you. Well, or like, you like could if, go to a grocery store and pass it on to everyone. I guess. I guess. Yeah. That, Unlikely, yeah. but yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I just thought it was funny because he came back and then like I was watching like like Tam, Nick, I feel like that's Cloaksy and shit. And these guys are had to ban the word Shroud in their chat because everyone would just come in and say, Shroud's back, Shroud's yeah. back, Dude, Shroud's back. F- and Nick was getting so cheesed about it. He's like, look, uh, Shroud's a beauty. I love the guy. But like I'm streaming here on my channel and everyone's like, cool, come watch Shroud, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I, mean, I guess when you're that big, like I didn't think it would matter that much because like you already have like forty some k, but then you realize like Shroud's got like four hundred, five hundred k already, and everyone's telling him to go there, and everyone's like, no, tell Shroud to come here with his viewers type thing. You know what I mean? I was just yeah. kind of like, I've never seen that kind of interaction happen on Twitch before. Happens the a funny, decent amount. The funniest part about that is I was watching Something like Nick Merks and and Shroud like the day that Shroud came back. Yeah. And everyone in, tra- in Nick's chat is like, Shroud's about, Shroud's about. And he's like, whatever, guys. I guess I've had enough of it. And then yeah. I go over to Shroud. Shroud's like, yeah, like I'd look into playing some Warzone. Like, Bananz and I have been watching so much Nick Merckx. Like, <laughs> I love that guy. Like, he's great. And then everyone in Nick's chat's like, yo, he's like gassing you up yourself. You're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then someone sent him a clip of like Shroud saying that. He's like, oh, shit. Like, Shroud, yeah. Yeah. Like, let's, like, let's talk. Shroud's back. <laughs> if you're all those big guys, like, again, you're going to make a lot of money at the end of the day regardless. Yeah. Yeah. But Shroud takes so much of the pie. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot, they're going to lose hundreds of subs. Every yeah. single one of them. It was but, yeah, yeah. myth of the best tweet. It was like, there's like the FPS. Yeah. 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 Like F, all FPS streamers be like, yeah, you show us back. It's like the happy face, like the rage face behind <laughs> yeah. it. But it makes sense. Like they, they're, they're all going to make a lot of money, but he takes such a big piece yeah. slice of the pie that they're all going to make a little bit less than they might have. It's also ever since Shroud left, all those big streamers have got accustomed to a certain amount of like income View. and viewership. Viewers. Yeah. And that now that he's back, they're like, oh, the like lose a bit. the fun times are over. Yeah. I don't Again, know. they're still gonna make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They're just not gonna There's make as much. That last little gap. That and they're not gonna and get. it's mm -hmm. it's very easy to be like, oh, woe is you, but like they plan around that income and stuff. Yeah. For, like, mm -hmm. like, like, like a more I guess local example would be me is that like Bolo his charm came out and my sub count dropped from like 11k down to 6k, mm -hmm. which was which, expected like, though. Yeah. And like. 6k subs is still a lot i'm not yeah. complaining but i was like oh he's complaining it's, it's same, that's like that's same a 40 percent yeah. drop in my yeah. income same thing you're still gonna make a lot of money mm -hmm. you're just not making as much and yeah. to, to be fair i'm gonna go out on the record and say this his charm does not look that cool in my opinion i like <gasps> charm. i like yours better Whoa. i think my favorite out of all of them is pangu's i like kickstar is the best actually mm -hmm. i think his just looks clean it's red and white and he can put it on most get most guns. it's his logo which yeah. is like his name just in fancy font which is cool but um, my favorite is Pangu just because it's like super 3D and like I haven't seen Pangu to be honest the new but. charms for this oh that's what I was going to ask okay I don't know anything about the new season okay give me so, the new ops yeah I want to okay, the so, new ops what do they do there's and, only one op well there's only one oh, new one there's only Boo. one for every season from now on okay it's a bummer and then the reinforcements how do they work and, <laughs> okay well do you want yes. okay, okay down, go down, step, by step. Yeah, step okay. by step okay new operator Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell was his name like Hawkeye or some shit? Zero. Zero? Okay. Close. Uh, um, <laughs> his special gadget is he has like a pistol. He shoots it and it launches a camera like a Valkyrie camera and it mounts on a wall. And if it's on a destructible wall or a reinforced wall, it can like watch on either side. He can swap what side it's looking through and it has a laser on it like a Maestro camera, but it can only shoot one. So it's like a one time like destroy gadget type thing. Um, and then... He has four of those cameras. Can they sorry? Can they kill the cameras? Yes, very okay. easy. Makes a lot loud noise, and if someone's on, it's a really bright yellow light. So cool. super just, easy. Just to shoot it. Yeah. So it can gone. see through. So let's say I'm playing on. I don't know. Fuck. And I put it on this wall. Yeah. <laughs> I, I shoot it like on a re. Let's say there's a. Let's use the chalet kitchen wall for example. Like you know how you can. Are right, you lost, Shane? No, no, I know that. Nick, you know like the. Well, chalet got reworked. Trophy. So it did. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. chose the worst possible. Old, map. old chalet. You know how like there's like the kitchen on one side, then there's the hall on the other. Yeah. Let's say it's reinforced. I put it on the rein on on the reinforced. It can see through both sides of the fucking wall. Yeah. So yes. only Sam Fisher can swap what side it's on. Like he has to go on it and press space, and then it'll swap to the other side. That's, but by default, okay. it'll look through the side. Like, if I shoot it this way, it'll go look through that side. So now, but, does the camera switch sides when you do that? Or can you shoot it from both sides? I, I, I just understand how it um, literally phases through a metal Like, so it, it makes a tiny little hole, essentially. Oh, okay. And then, like, okay. it's, like, basically imagine, like, a little drone. Mm -hmm. So it'll be on one side. You press space. And it'll be, like, it'll, like, so like if you're, through and if go on the other side. If he puts it on the outside of the wall, can a defender on the inside of sight shoot yes. it? Yes. It, okay. You see it on both sides. Oh, awesome. Okay. So it's very easy to destroy. Okay, next. I feel like um, I was watching. No, Drew, you... that's enough. Next. Relax. I feel like <laughs> I was watching you play, and there was just people like looking at your camera. Well, it was the play test. True. Like, people okay. are they're just gonna be like, "Oh, what is okay. that new okay. thing?" No, yeah. that, you mean like I think you, mean the, you mean the videos? I don't know. I, I watched some video of yours of the new season, and there was like people just yeah. watching. No, at we were okay. just like, "Stop shooting the cameras. They're too easy okay. to destroy." <laughs> I'm gonna die. Um, okay, we're good. We're gonna die. The okay. amount of times it's fallen off your nose, you've already gotten covered. I know. I'm going to die. Sorry, You're guys. an under noser now, Rob. It's been, it's, it's been real. So the other things that are new, um, reinforcements are now 10 per team. It's not based on two per operator. Yeah. So like, I can finally take off. Yeah. So you can leave. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Oh, goodness. I'm playing um, Siege again. So next season. Tonight? No. <laughs> next season, I've, I've already talked about this a decent amount on stream, so I don't care about saying it, but like next season, I'm not doing copper to diamond. We're doing a five stack to champion, where it's going to be me and a couple guys... Going to champion. The doggo priest. Both girls. No. Sam and someone else. No. Yes, sexist. Roy, Skittles, Patrick, and then one of Roy's friends who's already been champion multiple times, Sykes. 
Ah, so you're getting carried. So I'm going to be the support. <laughs> and I was telling them when we were doing the play test, I was like, this is going to be my life. Like, all of you guys are just going to leave site. I'm going to have to reinforce everything yeah, just, by myself. Yep. Just leave Rook to fucking put down 20 reinforcements per oh, round. Oh, that's yeah. so yeah. awesome. So do you I, want, do you want Patrick spawn peeking or putting a reinforcement? Yeah, I know. And I was like, I understand it's <laughs> the for the best, but it's going to suck just me every single round. Six reinforcements. Man, Patrick's I'm the fucking crackhead. So that'll be interesting to mm-hmm. see how that goes. But so I'm excited for that. And um, it's overall really good change. Everyone's happy about it. That's good um, other changes are there's a new secondary gadget for attackers, which is a hard breach device. It's like a little square put up on a wall and it'll make a hole in a reinforced wall. So everyone's a hard breach Does it now. destroy hatches? No, not everyone. Yes, it'll destroy hatches. So like, what's that replace? Useless? No. What does that replace? Um, for some people, like, so it's the people who aren't that popular, like Nook, Amaru, Lion, Finca, Monty. So they're trying to... Like they're trying to buff the pick rate pick of other rate. people, okay. but also make it where you don't have to pick Thermite or Hibana or Ace. Mm-hmm. Give me more, sure, more options. Buff, buff Lion. <laughs> but like, he's not even that strong. But yeah, <laughs> basically awesome. give people more options and give them more incentive to choose other people. Okay. Because like a lot of the times I'm always on hard breach because no one else will go hard breach. But now I can go with a fun operator and go hard breach. Can Bandit just... He can destroy it easily. Okay. So mm-hmm. I, I, done it, I did it so many Is times. that a buff to other ones or like a nerf to Hibana and Thermite? A buff to everyone. Okay. Because, like, you only have one, so you can get one hatch. Well, but and Hibana can get I three. guess every other hard breach op breaches in a different way, too. It's also, hey. like, it's a small square. Again, right? it's just you, another option. Yeah. Can they yeah. be electrified? Yes. You can You can vault through it, or if you put it at crouch height, you can walk through it. But, like, it's still such a small hole that you're an easy target. Random question. Does Bandit, does he destroy Tom... Yes. No, I was a Tom Nook. Who the hell is that? <laughs> That's Animal Crossing. Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing. Yeah, Tom, yes, he, uh, he destroys wait, uh, Sam Fisher. Wait, Tom Siege? It's, it's not even Tom, it's Sam. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> he destroys Sam Fisher's gadget. Okay. Um, Mute also jams it. Awesome. So another big thing is now they have new sights in the game. So there's like a 1.5 times scope, a 2 times scope, and a 3 times scope. All the DMRs got the 3 times. Um, what, what's, what was an ACOG? 2.5. Okay. So a lion can have a 3 times DMR that. then. Yeah. Um, and so a lot of the people who had ACOGs lost them and now have 1.5 times scopes. So like, but the, wouldn't they have a three times instead or no? Only the DMRs. So, so like, for example, oh, Blackbird's DMR would have yeah. three times on it then. So the, the he, had, he had a scar or something, didn't he? MK yeah, 17? that has a 1.5. So now that only, the max or, you can um, magnify that is that new like circular reticle 1.5 yes. state. And then can you change the color of that? Or was I seeing yeah, so this an... is going to fucking literally fall off my goddamn face. <laughs> it's like so crooked too. <laughs> I know, like, fuck. Where did a, you get that mask? Just my head. mom made it and it was nice at first, but oh. I've just been wearing it so often. It's a very nice so, mask. <laughs> There's a new... Mom, like, Mom, did you hear that? Drew said your mask looks like shit. It looks shit. very good. It's just falling off. It's, it's nice fabric, but... There is a new accessibility thing where you can change the color of your site. So now you can have like blue, purple, green, whatever. You can make Cyan? it whatever color. Cyan? Yeah, I have mine on turquoise. Yeah. They added wheelchair ramps to all the maps. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's in Morse code now. <laughs> they, they sign... Braille? <laughs> they sign all their breaching Morse code. commands. <laughs> <laughs> all, then all the ops gonna keep using sign language now too. Um, also, you can now ping stuff on your drone. So, like, if you see a frost mat, you can ping it, and it'll pop up with an icon saying "frost mat here." What is this? Risk of rain? That's so, actually kind of sick. So it's really yeah, it's basically risk of rain ping. I think that's a nerf to some devices, though. It's a like <laughs> it makes it easier for attackers and defenders to like get like, rid of gadgets. Frost yes. is like if there's like. Well, anyone with a drone can see that a frost mat now. Wait, that's yeah. that's gonna ruin my immersion though. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be like focused, mats. and all of a sudden a fucking ping pops up. Yeah, dude, I'm trying <laughs> to play a, a realistic fucking. Or is it on that shooter. little bar? Uh, no, all no. of the operators have special uh, lenses in their glasses now, so that they can see the pings. Some hmm. Westworld shit. Cool. And there's new, there's a new there's a new gun. Isn't it like a P90 or some shit? Like looking, it looks it's like a P90. The, it's your player. favorite gun. Or, no, like that looks like a P90 <laughs> for Sam Fisher. <laughs> yeah. It's called the SC-3000K. I don't know what the fuck it's based it's off based of. It's based off an F-2000. Apparent- oh, really? Isn't that an airplane? Yeah, mm-hmm. actually. I thought I heard it was based off an F-90, which I'm assuming is based off of the F-2000. I think I, they, they F-2000 had it in COD. One more for two. F-2000 yeah. was like a, bull, like a bullpup? Let me call it yeah. from behind. Oh, yeah, it's a yeah. bullpup type okay. gun. Um, but I'm, anyways, I'm a gun nerd, bro. Yeah. The, the modern warfare encyclopedia. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, he has the that gun, and he also has Bandit's MP7. At the same time? Well, like one oh, or okay, the other. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, what the? I fuck? just got a kimbo. Yeah. Um, and yeah, other like, than, 
Other than that, I think I covered most of them. Um, Any other quality of life things? Like, um, I had a full like notes set up, so I'll pull it. I up. wasn't like all those changes seem decent. Yeah, that's actually yeah. a pretty good. Pretty all good. I can picture is like that new op. Like he puts it on the wall; it's looking down at him. So he flips the camera to inside sight, and it's just like. It's like Bandit and Rook doing sign language across the room at each other. And then they both look up at the camera. <laughs> they're like kissing or something. <laughs> Caught the act. Uh, um, other than chalet rework, which I can't really explain. Yeah, that's basically what, it. Like, what did they change about chalet? Did they change trophy? Like it's, it's hard to explain a fucking map. Chalet is, again, dude, that's one of the only maps I fucking know. And of course they rework it. Trophy is like basically the same, map. but there's now a staircase inside trophy that goes Whoa, upstairs. What? Where that master bedroom balcony was, now it's like a big room. Oh, oh, okay. And then, like, I used to get spawn peek from there all the time. And now there's like a bunch of different other hallways and stuff. I'll have to just run around in the fucking whatever you call. Like when you match. look at it, it's it's one of those maps where it's hard because like it still looks so familiar, but there's so many small changes that you're like, your brain Dude, can't comprehend it for a there while. There was two so maps like that I knew house? inside and out, yep. chalet and fucking uh, club or Oregon, and they changed Oregon on me. Now they're changing fucking chalet, dude. What happened to the house map? It got reworked, but they made it for like casual, not mm. for ranked. Well, what would they rework a casual map in the first place? Wasn't it? When I, I talked to, to the person, like the map designer, and he's like, "I made it like it's competitive." No big deal, man. It's, he's Talk like, "It's a map designer. It's a pro night. league level map." And he's mm -hmm. like, "But it's only gonna be casual." But then when we played, I was like, "This is not." pro league what's level. wrong with it it's just too small like it's way too attacker sided cause all i remember is that one room where you it was like the kids room don't reinforce and, kids room. Yeah, mm -hmm. and literally just like you the round would start and then just explosions everywhere <laughs> yeah. as you light up every wall in that room it's like that fucking map in brazil what it, what it was Favela. called yeah yeah i love that map because you just fucking blow you just... the entire map up man <laughs> <laughs> like you like look at one game i was playing a casual and like and the chat was saying like yo let's just blow up the fucking whole map dude <laughs> end of the game just like everyone has shotguns on offense and defense just the map just the fucking like skeleton of what it was at the start of the game that used yeah. to be christian nice strat until it started fucking with his pc what, oh yeah started, like, had to we'd take too like much. the alibi maestro shotgun and just like destroy all of sight before it was like uh like a spread shotgun mm -hmm. buckshot and now it's like a slug but before when it spread we would just like go destroy all the walls we could but then the server itself and our computers would start to slow down because like it's just too much <laughs> it was amazing it's like trying to render a fucking br on your but it's page. like a good strat because they break a window and they're like going some like angle that they know a bunch and then they're just like wait whoa what the, Ooh, fuck? the fucking <laughs> the wall's gone <laughs> another <They're renovating. laughs> thing that's in the game which i don't know how it made it past but right now with sam fisher if you get on his cameras right as soon as you deploy it it crashes the server really completely and like, like it's the not entire game or what? yeah like the entire server gets shut down that's worse than spike guns and wars yeah i was gonna say and that's uh yeah, it's really bad and like it happened to us a bunch and then everyone in the group was just like okay like don't go on camera straight away just wait a bit and then it was oh the best because today we were recording um after my stream and then sam's like yeah like that never happened to us i don't think that's the cause like it can't <laughs> be and literally like in that round she gets on my camera right away crashes the entire server and we get kicked <laughs> out i was like i told you this is what happens Jeez. content though yeah that's crazy but, I'm actually yeah. that's like I don't know it's, I, a, it's, a, it's a bunch of changes that I can finally understand what they do yeah and like, it what's didn't the point seem of them. too bad Dark lost his ACOG I so hate to why, so <laughs> why did only one of them lose it so I think the rationale is they're trying to make it where wait Rook still has his MP5 ACOG no he has a two times Doc has a 1.5 so what? Well, they both had ACOGs before. Yeah. So they lost both their ACOGs. But like Rook has more of an ACOG skill. Yeah. Still. Oh, so maybe so they're just trying to. They said, or they haven't said anything, but what we can understand is when you look at like the operators, why one with like the same gun got something and the other one didn't, is because they're trying to buff the pick rate of one while keeping the other pick rate the same. So like Doc has picked a lot because you just run around and spawn peak with his ACOG. Yeah. So they reduced it so that you don't do that as much, and if you want to do that, you pick Rook. So like it kind of bounces mm -hmm. out because like the usually operators. those they're they're but, French right because they're usually the, if you play Doc or Rook you're just a fucking killing machine right like yeah. they're just spawn peeking like I swear every death I have on defense is to Rook or Doc <laughs> or fucking Cade but that's a story for a different day isn't that just gonna toast Doc's pick rate though like isn't everyone that I'm still gonna always gonna dude, I, dude I'm still gonna play the shit out of Doc just because mm -hmm. of my skin obviously also but. the P90 so they introduced a new holographic which is a little different so it's like smaller but it has more housing that takes up more of the space you can see instead of like a tiny little dot in the middle it's like a bit of a bigger dot and two horizontal lines on the kind side like frost holographic then didn't nook already kind have one like that or knock whatever no this is new. that's the vortex Tom? now this one's called like the 
Razor or something? Yeah, that's what know. I was thinking of. Tom Tom Frost, and, Frost and Knock have the same hollow. That's a different one. Oh. So now there's three holographics, and they change it for each person <laughs> based on their pick rate. Like, so they gave it to Pulse because his pick rate's through the roof, but they kept the old one on Castle and gave Castle 1.5 times as well. Wait, so Pulse like, is a good pick rate? Oh, I thought, I thought you were saying Castle he, for he some gets, reason. He, he like, gets, wait, what? Isn't like every game and He's one of the best operators. Every pro league game I watch, there's some dude with Frost, just, or some guy with playing Pulse underneath the objective. <laughs> scanning it the with whole the time. Literally, man. Yeah. Just waiting with that there's C4. There's one here. There's one here. It's hard to pass up free, unlimited, real-time info. Yeah, I mm-hmm. guess. That can't be stopped unless you kill him. They can't need to make someone like immune to, to Did Pulse. Did they touch Ella at all? Because I was trying to play her a lot more, too. No. Okay. Did this, they what? They need to make someone immune to Pulse. Like a vigil. Like a cold-blooded or something. They should just, yeah. like, nook like that, honestly. But, mm-hmm. like, it, it would be just, like, it wouldn't not? make any sense. It should be game, just, no. It'd be you game don't break. stop your heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to mask it somewhere. You, the map now. Why? Also, one other thing. that so deep. Yeah, deep. yeah, yeah, I get it. Jesus. Thatcher got changed. <laughs> oh, really? Now he doesn't destroy anything. He just disables everything temporarily. So, oh, like, that's lame. So well, if you throw an EMP... Yeah, like there's the thermite in like ten seconds or less or what? Yeah, apparently it's yeah. fifteen seconds. Isn't that's that, oh, that's, that's practically that's pretty much thing. destroying Ooh. it. Isn't but that I don't kind of a true. buff though? Like, what if you're trying to bandit trick? So that's the thing is like I don't know how it works now. I think if you have two bandits down and it gets disabled and you pick one up, you can't put down a new one until the timer runs out, which is weird. So it's just like how a they huge keep track buff. of that. When, when you have don't. two in your pocket that are still I think, fresh, I think it's like disabled the wall but, but, in their eyes mm. but even even still like say it doesn't get destroyed and you can pick one up and put one right back down like that time to pick it up has to add to the mm. whole bandit trick weren't there lots of ways to no. counter bandit tricking though yeah so so like it just seems like a thing where they're because right now the meta is like super in defense side mm-hmm. i think they're trying to make it like more attacker side but i think they might have swung too far yeah as always but it'll depend like it's way too early to tell this Test server just dropped today, so mm-hmm. I seen knows? the feed, one piece of feedback I see a lot is the audio is really good on TTS now or something like that. I forget who, who tweeted that. I think it was Pengo <laughs> actually. I think I saw a tweet saying like that might have been a troll tweet. That, no way, like people were like responding to me like, yeah, man, this is a, this is good shit. <laughs> I, is it so deep fake? I, I think I know the tweet you're thinking about, and I think it was because people were like satirically saying shit like that because they weren't invited to try it out beforehand. Was it today? Yeah, look at Pengo's t- Twitter. I think I, th- was it today or like uh, I ago? saw it today, so I. Think like I have my so Twitter set like to be like top ago. tweets. Yeah, oh but, yo, check twenty sixteen actually. <laughs> yo, check launch week. Jeez, this face is or this face is mask makes me feel like I'm just like I don't know how to explain Man, it. Man, I literally wear one like all day. I know, but I, like this is the longest I've worn one. Can like if, at, at, at in one time. I got one from Staples and it goes from like here to here and it goes like um an back under noser. What? To, oh shit! I see. <laughs> I from, like, here to here. Here to here. Um, You're right. He is tweeting in favor of it, but everyone else in the comments is like, "No, it's awful." Oh. But like, it's so big that like I have so much room to breathe in there. Like, I, I can't. It doesn't. I want an N95. Like we, we, my family has one N95 for some reason. I really want to wear it because I tried it on. It like it goes. It feels so easy to breathe in and out of compared to this. Really? Because I it like a respirator. Or yeah, is it I, like I, a, I feel my breath like. I feel it touching my face, but when I'm wearing that, just out and in, it's like fucking Darth Vader. Mm. It makes it does make kind of like that noise. Just too. get the get it like carry an oxygen tank. Just be hooked up. Like, all like just fucking scuba gear. Just yeah. Them all. Just be like that chick that used to, I used to see at Crunch all the time, where she just like work out in a respirator to like be an extra superhuman or yeah. some shit. I don't know. Wow, dude. Like, all I'm gonna say with all these gas masks and shit, it's a good time to start picking up like a muter smoke cosplay. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Get it? No. Get it. Anyways, we're like, I think we're already past an hour and a half. Oh, so. we're cruising, boys. Oh, really? What time is it? It's 8.45. 8.45. No, it's about an hour and a half. Exactly. Yeah. I, we already... I lost track of time. I think we started like 7.15. Yeah. But, All right. Uh, do we have a question for the comments? Um, no, just everyone roast bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no. We're not try doing to break that. us apart as a group. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Don't do that. Some settlers' input, always nice. I'm trying to think of something. For the two people in chat who. Let play us settlers. know how dumb Drew is. That's always good. About settlers, not in general. I think we gave enough context that they could. And we piece clearly together. explained the scenario. We should just ask what their, it was fav- collateral what their favorite board game is. Fuck it. Just see if, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite? Give us some ideas. What is your favorite board game, and what would you want to watch us play if we theoretically. We're doing a board game well, stream number or one, video. Number one will be Settlers because this guy's uh, got some business expenses to yeah, take Yeah, I have of. to make a video on Settlers. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I can't business But after that, really, work. like, what do we, Men at Work would be good. 
That would be a really yeah. good one for video. Um, we could do like a variety board game. Uh, and but like, then after that, yeah, who knows? Like, just who like do like, like board games take like a half hour, bank like four and five in one day or something. Like uh, I, I think I'm not a half hour. Settlers ain't about. I have like Operation Scrabble. Oh, work, we're not like gonna that. play like Scrabble. I can't even fucking spell. I would, I would play Scrabble. I, I would Scrabble. play too. Okay, who well, sure. But <laughs> that would like, not make but, a good video. Well, the thing is, my no, the, the Scrabble that I have is just scuffed as hell. There's like missing letters and shit. So like we'll have to get a new one. There's no I vowels. I have this board game, but we can't play it. So. I have a no. board game, and it wouldn't make a good video, and it kind of looks like shit. We were playing but... with like our family the one time, and I had like it's two X's and a Y. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I can't Zix. do shit. Sexy. Zix. Zigs. X Y X. Charlie. Uh, anyway, yeah, yes, we'll but, yeah. we'll try to start that up soon because the cooking channel has been doing very well. It actually passed Bag Boys in Suckers. subs now. It's because Drew's in the thumbnails. That's why. No. Or, is he? No, but the no. grilled cheese video did really well, even though like I only promoted it once. Normally I promoted it like twice or three times a week. Only promoted it once, and it got posting a lot of views. in the various discords that they tried your recipes too. You should Which is yeah, awesome. You, Rob has like a food recipe, and I, I kept getting a notification. And I mute like literally food every channel, channel, food channel, and I just kept getting a notification. I'm like this fucking channel is supposed yeah. to be muted. Like what is this? And somebody was like, "Hey Drew, I tried your pork tenderloin. <laughs> it was really good." And Aww. I'm like, oh, "All right." Oh yeah, we it had was leftovers. Good. Uh, that mean any ate today it was so fucking good because i guess it marinated for like two weeks basically yeah in the freezer so, but yeah but it was so fucking good thought you were gonna say because like and he's like you're eating all my food and i literally walk in chris was like oh there's pork tenderloin there if you want it <laughs> yeah and, and then she's like she's, like, right. she made like her homemade fries she's like yeah you have to eat those i don't want to put them in the fridge i'm like okay <laughs> i guess if i have to and it's yeah. garlic aioli yeah she makes her own oh my goodness all right all right that's it for podcast hopefully see you next week rob Okay. Peace. Don't, your mom's watching that. She she tapped it a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.